Are you sitting at your desk right now daydreaming about quitting your job to pursue your art full time? I see you and I feel you. That urge to break free to dedicate yourself entirely to your passion is intoxicating, isn't it? But before you draft up that resignation letter, let's have a heart to heart. If you're new here, I'm Tahar Lu. I'm an abstract artist and holistic teacher. And a few years ago, I was exactly where you are now. Frustrated with my nine to five job, rarely enjoying life and dreaming about becoming a full time artist. And yes, I took that leap and lived in La La Land for a while, but... <laughs> How I wish someone had sat me down and told me what I'm about to tell you because being delusional will have you going straight back to corporate if you're not prepared. So in this video, I'm going to share what I wish someone had told me before I quit my job to become a full-time artist. First things first, being a full-time artist is not all inspiration and creativity. It's a business and like any business, it comes with its own set of challenges. But don't let that discourage you. These challenges are real, but they're not impossible. So let me break it down for you. Your income will likely be irregular, especially in the beginning. There will be feast and famine months. So if you're not ready to sacrifice that steady paycheck, but still want to quit your job, then you'll have to save enough to cover at least six months of expenses. This will give you peace of mind as you navigate the early days of your art career. And of course, it's very personal and depends on your circumstances, but make sure you're prepared. The sooner you'll realize you're not just an artist anymore, but a creative entrepreneur developing both your art and your business, the better prepared you'll be. As an artist, if you're not outsourcing some of your responsibilities, then you have to keep in mind that you're also a marketer, an accountant, a social media manager, and more. It can be exciting, especially if you're multi-passionate, but it can also be overwhelming, especially especially if you're not taking care of yourself. When your art becomes your livelihood, you might feel pressured to create even when inspiration doesn't strike. It's a different kind of stress than your nine to five, but it can still weigh heavily on you and make you question your choice to pursue art full time. Pressure is normal, but it doesn't have to delay your dreams. The key is to develop a sustainable practice Set up a routine that includes dedicated creation time, but also built in space for rest and to gather inspiration. The artist's life can be solitary and you'll need to make a conscious effort to connect with others. I speak from experience here. I'm not just an artist, but also a stay at home mom to a toddler and I'm an introvert. Before my daughter was born, it was just me and my cat at home for most of the time. While I was grateful for the calm and peaceful environment, I learned that dwelling too long in your own mind can really get to you. So make sure to keep in touch with other creators and like-minded people. This connection with those who understand your journey is invaluable. I also diversified my income to include teaching. This not only provides financial stability, but also allow me to have regular interaction with others who share my passion. Now, I know these challenges might seem intimidating. That's why I've created a mentoring program specifically for artists ready to make the leap to full-time. Having someone by your side who's been through these challenges and found their path is invaluable. I didn't have that guidance and it took me much longer to get to where I am. In my one-on-one -on -one sessions, we'll work together to tackle these challenges head-on. We'll clarify your vision, set achievable goals, and create a solid plan for your transition. I'll also help you build a foundation for multiple multiple streams of income that align with your passion. I offer three tailored programs to meet you where you are and guide you to where you want to be. We'll focus your efforts so that you can move past the overwhelm and start building a business that truly supports you. Think of this as an investment in your dreams because that's exactly what it is, an investment in yourself, your art, and the life you've always imagined. If you're ready to take that first step towards your dream, click the link in the description below to learn more about my mentoring programs. This path is far from linear. There will be ups and downs. Some days you'll feel on top of the world and some days you'll wonder why you ever thought you could do this. But I like to think of it like a metamorphosis. Sometimes you're the caterpillar crawling, learning and growing. Other times you're in the cocoon and 
It might feel like nothing's happening, but that's where the magic happens. And then there are moments when you spread your wings and soar as a butterfly. This journey isn't just a career change. It's a calling. It's not just about making art. It's about sharing your unique view with the world. But a calling without a plan is just a dream. That's why it's important to set clear goals and create a roadmap for your artistic future. So here are some steps to guide you. Clarify your vision. What does success look like for you? Is it getting gallery representation, having a thriving online business, or something else entirely? Get crystal clear on what you're working towards. Set your goals. When I first heard about goal setting, I cringed. I didn't want to feel boxed in. I wanted the freedom to create whenever I felt inspired. But honestly, just going with the flow ended up wasting a lot of my time. You can can set goals that still work with your creative flow. The trick is to be specific and have a clear plan to reach them. Instead of a vague goal like become a successful artist, try something concrete like sell 10 original pieces in the next six months or start my YouTube channel and post a video every week. This way you stay focused without losing your creative freedom. Start your art business on the side. Begin selling your work and building a client base while you're still employed. This way you can test the waters and build momentum. You can also start a mailing list and reach out to local galleries to create a buzz in your community. Building your network as an artist is key. And even if you're an introvert, you can still grow your network at a pace that suits your personality and lifestyle. Develop multiple income streams. When I started out, I made the mistake of just focusing on selling original pieces. I quickly realized that I'd be begging for my job back if I kept going down that path. So plan to diversify your income in a way that fits your lifestyle and personality. For example, you can offer prints, do commissions, or even license your work. You could also teach, start a YouTube channel, create ebooks, offer a course, or build a membership around something you're passionate about. Each stream supports the others and helps create a more stable foundation. Whatever you choose, start laying the groundwork for your business as long as you have a plan. Stay a student for life. Both your artistic and business skills matter. So keep growing, take classes, go to workshops, read up, never stop learning. Also be real with yourself and figure out your strengths and weaknesses. What habits do you need to drop? What sacrifices will help you move forward? Get into a routine that works for you because if you don't, someone else will. If you don't manage your own time, someone else will do it for you. And let's be honest, you'd rather decide when to take a day off and spend time with your family doing what you love. Plan for self-care. Being an artist can be tough, both emotionally and physically. So make self-care a non-negotiable part of your routine to keep burnout at bay. Work on your nervous system and be intentional with operating from a cool head and a clear mind. Whether it's spending time in nature, getting enough sleep, eating well, staying hydrated, or finding time to recharge, it all adds up. You can't pour from an empty cup, so taking care of yourself helps you take care of your art and your business. Remember, success doesn't happen overnight. There will be twists and turns, moments of doubt, and unexpected victories. It's all part of the process. The key is to remain calm through it all. When things get tough, take a deep breath and Remind yourself why you started this journey. It takes time, patience, having a support system, and a clear plan. But it also takes emotional resilience. Learn to ride the waves of uncertainty with a cool head. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small, and view your setbacks as learning opportunities. By staying calm and focused, you'll be better equipped to handle the challenges and seize the opportunities that come your way. 
way. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Your support helps me create more resources for our creative community. Let me know in the comments, what's your biggest fear about becoming a full-time artist? Or if you've already made the leap, what's one thing you wish you'd known before quitting your job? And if you want to know more about my personal journey of how and why I quit my job, then check out the next video. I go deeper into my story and share some insights that might help you on your own path. So I'll see you there.